I believe very strongly that Ben Hogan and Mo Norman both tried to explain this to us in their two famous lessons that are visible on YouTube. Now, Ben Hogan said, from the top of the swing, you move the lower body first. The arms and hands follow, bringing you into position to hit, and you release at the bottom. Now, Mo Norman said his master move was a vertical drop and a horizontal tug. They're both trying to tell us the same thing. Just like the old classic swing teachers would say, you have to lead with the hips. You hit with the lower body. It's a very unnatural feeling and it's very counterintuitive as well. Our natural inclination is for this shoulder to get in front of this hip because we're trying to chop down on the ball. But if you're throwing a ball underhanded, you want this hip to lead. That's the feeling that we want to have. It's so hard to get this across to people, but once you get it, you'll start to hit the ball a mile. Go, go, go. That's good. Now the best description of the classic swing for me is that it is a body swing and not an arm swing. And that's why we want this lower body to lead. So if this hip is leading this right shoulder, that's a really great indication of it. Now you can move the right shoulder and the right hip together and still be a great golfer. Some people don't have the flexibility. In fact, I mean, I'm not that flexible and I have a really hard time getting into the position that Mr. Hogan did. But it's gonna be very hard to play great golf if this shoulder's getting in front of this hip.